Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited that you're here because I have been waiting to film this video for you guys and share with you the newest Moonshine Manny collection releasing this Friday. So I've had this collection in the works for a little while because the theme, um, I based it off of one of my favorite films. I've read the book. I enjoyed the film a little bit more. I feel like it's funnier and more lighthearted, more approachable. And it's just such a great classic and even cult classic and that's the film The Princess Bride. If you haven't seen it, please do myself and yourself a ginormous favor and go watch it. It's a great family time, so full of joy and messages of love and friendship and it has lots of adventure and it's just so fun. So the title of this collection is Is This a Kissing Book? which if you've seen the film, it's in the beginning when the grandfather's reading to the grandson, which of course by the way is not in the book. Um, <laughs> because in the film he's reading the book to his grandson and he hears about the first kiss between Wesley and Buttercup and he says, is this a kissing book? And so that's what I named the collection. And there are eight polishes in this collection because you guys, I just literally couldn't narrow down past what I've chosen here. There are so many gems and fun things going on in this film that it was just so, so, so hard to even just choose eight inspirations. So normally I have six polishes or less in a collection. This one is going to be one of my larger ones out of the year. And then from here on out, there probably won't be many more eight polish collections, but I just couldn't help myself with this one, you guys. So. We're gonna get right into a live application as we always do here on my channel. These will go on sale on Friday, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time at moonshinemanny.com. And if you've never been over to my website, this is my indie nail polish brand that I started um, last in November of 2016. So not last November, but the year before. So um, yes, you guys, I'm just so excited. Okay, let's stop talking about it. Let's go ahead and look at some of these polishes. So I usually go in alphabetical order, but today I'm gonna go in the order that you kind of hear about these things in the film. That just sounded fun to me to kind of like go along the film. Most of these things occur within the first like, well, you'll see, you'll see, right? <laughs> So, okay, the first polish up I have is my Red Berry Linear Holographic. This is a one coat linear holographic. It's gonna be really easy for you. Just easily swatch it on, top coat it out the door, and then just watch it sparkle all day long. So this polish is called True Love, and I describe this as an intense, rich raspberry linear holographic with blue undertones, opaque in one coat. So um, I actually had a request from Christine. Thank you, Christine. You guys always listen to what you, you know, you're looking for in your polish. And I had a request for Beet Berry Jelly in a holographic version. And so that's basically what this is. I really think that you're going to enjoy how easy this polish is and just the great payoff that you get in just one coat. So again, this polish is called True Love. And True Love runs throughout the whole movie, of course. Um, but the kind of theme of the movie is that Wesley and Buttercup have true love and that's why certain things happen in the film. I guess if you haven't seen it, I don't want to spoil it for you, but it's a really important element of the film. The next polish we're gonna look at is my blue jelly bomb. So I've kind of coined this frame, it's on my website, so whenever you see something called a jelly bomb, you'll know what I'm talking about. And basically that means it has a jelly base mixed with a glitter bomb. So it's still gonna have a lot of pigment in the base, so giving you a really great color payoff but it's a jelly because I have so much glitter and flaky in there that you need to have it thinner so that you can really see all the components and I'm calling it a glitter or a jelly bomb because I've packed a ton in it. So think like um, Totality, Younger in the Morning, um, Get a Room Santa, things like that. Those are what I'm calling jelly bombs on my website. So this polish is called As You Wish and this, as you know, is a very coined and famous phrase from the movie where Wesley constantly tells Buttercup, as you wish. And if you've read the book, man, she's so much more a brat in the book than she is in the film. They didn't, they chose not really to play that up, I think, to make her more um, a likable character. But anyway, so he, for years, tells her, as you wish, he's her servant. And then finally she realizes that when he's saying that, he's actually saying he loves her. I chose to make this polish blue because Wesley has beautiful stormy blue eyes, which Buttercup references in the film. 
And so I felt like as you wish should therefore be blue. Anyway, I described this on the website as a gentle sapphire blue jelly balm, cushioning a custom glitter mix comprised of multi-chrome flakies, shifting from green to cyan to sapphire, sparkling silver hollow flakies, and purple deep raspberry and bronze glitters. Top coat recommended. Anything that I produce that has a lot of glitters, you're gonna want lots of top coat. Opaque in two to three coats. So as you'll see as I'm applying this, um, some of these polishes are gonna look pretty sheer on one coat. Um, my jelly bombs, for instance, in particular, are that way because they need to be sheer to start with or you're not gonna be able to see all the components. So this looks really sheer, but don't worry, it's definitely buildable at two to three coats depending on, you know, your application. And then on the second and third coat, what you're gonna find is it will surprise you with its buildability. It's just gonna totally build up. All the glitters are going to give you great coverage on the nail, and this is gonna be so sparkling and beautiful. Lots of top coat, like I said. So this is as you wish. Sorry, I talked about that a long time. Um, but yeah, I really, really love this polish, and I think you'll like it too. The next polish in the collection, I worked so hard on this polish, probably more than the other ones. Most of the polishes in this collection just kind of happened organically, but this one in particular, I was trying to make a very specific color. I was trying to go for that very light powdery blue that Buttercup is wearing, and Buttercup has some like um, very light powdery pastel dresses that she wears in the film. So even more than just this one color, I was looking to represent this powdery pastel look that she has going on when she's in princess mode. So this polish is called Princess Buttercup and it's a very light blue with green undertones because I feel like that dress isn't just straight up blue. And this polish is very delicate because those dresses are just like so stunning. Um, the costume work in the film is really, really great and I just, I wanted to represent that in this polish. On the website, I've described this as a dusty and demure powder blue base cradling cyan to blue to violet shifting mermaid flakies. Those are the iridescent ones, so not the same as the multi-chrome ones in the last polish. And bright sparks of iridescent teal to blue micro glitters. So um, yes, this polish, <laughs> as I've described you, both of the things inside this base are iridescent. So I'm just, I was going for a really light, kind of flowing, ethereal look here. So as you're gonna see me when I go to apply this, this is going to apply similarly to the last one in that it's sheer, so you definitely wanna build this up. So go for thin coats and wear this, I would recommend at three coats and do nice thin coats because, I did this on purpose, because those flakies, you can't really see them in a light base unless it's very sheer, at least from what I've experimented with this color. So. I really wanted those that blue and the green to just really sparkle, so that's how I was able to make that happen. So you're gonna see me apply this in three coats. Give yourself a beautiful, delicious top coat. I'm using Sesh V lately, and that's what I've used on all of these polishes. I've like re-fallen in love with Sesh V. Okay, next up in the collection, I have a few polishes that do have multi-chrome pigment in them, but this one is a fully multi-chrome polish. This polish is called Inconceivable, and as you're looking at it here in the bottle, it's probably mostly looking like a very deep teal to you, but that's because of the studio lights. Um, in reality, when you have this polish just sitting there on your nails, to me, what I see, and as I look down on my hand, it's just not what the camera sees, is a very intense um, magenta shade. So that's what the base of this polish is. That's what I was going for. I took a multi-chrome pigment and then I made sure that the base, like the starting color, was like a fuchsia magenta. So for all you pink lovers, this is your pink multi-chrome. So, um, did I tell you, this polish is called Inconceivable. Of course I had to have a polish named Inconceivable in the collection, and which better one to be called Inconceivable than the multi-chrome. So this multi-chrome, like I said, it has a primary color of fuchsia, but as the rainbow goes, you're gonna see the colors on both sides of them. So this multi-chrome, you can also see red and gold on that edge of the fuchsia, but that teal that you're seeing here in the camera is definitely very prevalent as you turn your hands. So you're seeing like a deep, blackened teal going towards a violet. So those are the shades that this multi-chrome shifts and it also has multi-chrome flakies in there, just a little bit speckling across the surface and not enough to really make any kind of texture on your nail or anything, just to give this a little bit more fire. 
I just wanted this to be kind of another crazy color, kind of like Ragnarok, but a little bit more wearable for most people who enjoy pink. So um, yeah, let me go ahead and describe this to you. Inconceivable on the website is described as a vibrant, spicy, and mysterious multi-chrome shifting from bright fuchsia to deep teal and green, speckled with red, copper, gold, green, multi-chrome flakies. So that's the description of how they flash. They go from red to copper to gold to green. This is opaque in two coats, no base, no like black base coat needed or anything. This is totally super shifty and opaque in two coats. It applies really, really easily as you're seeing. And as with every single polish that I make, I recommend top coat. Some polishes, um, like some of the creams, are a lot more glossy than others. But uh, most of the polishes I make are just going to look so much better if you do lots of great juicy top coat. I just think it makes everything look better. So you may hear this line before you hear inconceivable, but they're close. They're, they're right next to each other, right after they've abducted uh, Buttercup. So um, <laughs> one of my favorite lines in the film is anybody want a peanut? So I knew I was going to make a peanut butter cream. It's a yellowy brown because that's how peanut butter looks. I actually went to my jar of peanut butter and I spread some peanut butter out on a piece of bread and then I based this color off of that color. So I was really surprised actually when I went in to make it based off of the actual real representation that I had in my cupboard, how yellow a peanut butter like brown is. It's incredibly yellow. And I mean, if you think about it, peanuts are kind of yellow. So on my website, I've described anybody want a peanut as a soft peanut butter brown cream. And that is it. <laughs> this is opaque in two coats. As you're going to see, this applies really, really easily. As you see on the second coat, it totally becomes fully opaque and it's really nice and easy, glossy look on the nail. You can definitely still put on top coat. That's going to just really even everything out, gloss everything up. And so now I'll show you the picture here side by side with Southern Belle. Okay, this next polish in the collection, it's really hard to pick a favorite in my collections as it always is because it's a labor of love with each of these polishes. And um, yeah, basically I love them all, but this one I think is my very favorite. Um, a lot of it probably has to do with the fact that it's based on Inigo Montoya, which is my favorite character from that film. But it's also just a really, really fun, beautiful neutral with lots of sparkle. So. I'm really excited to share with you this polish. Um, it's called Hello, my name is Inigo Montoya, of course, it has to be called that. And this, as you can see, is kind of a blush brown. Inigo Montoya is the gentleman in the film who's looking for revenge for his father's death. I really wanted to make a neutral because this color is based on a man man, but I wanted to make this sparkly because he's a sparkly character in my mind because I love him. The way that I've described this polish is dazzling gold hollow glitter with copper and gold hollow dust sparkle brightly from within this soft pecan cream base with blush undertones and a flash of gold shimmer. Top coat recommended opaque in two coats. So as you're going to see me swatching this, um, again, this is going to look kind of sheer at the first coat, but don't worry, it's totally opaque in two coats. That's what I'm showing you is two. You can go for the third. If you did a little bit thinner coats, that's totally fine. Maybe you wanted to build up even more gold sparkle on the nail. And as always, use lots of top coats. So basically, this blushy pecan base is holding like lots of different kinds of gold sparkly things. So we had gold and copper hollow dust. That's basically that micro hollow glitter, but it's so, so small. It's just dust. And it also has very small gold hollow glitters. It has gold shimmer and it's so fun you guys it's just so sparkly but it's also like not too much in my opinion because the glitters are really small so i love it like i said it's probably my favorite out of the collection even though i love all of them and i feel like it's a really easy to wear polish while still giving you some pizzazz and excitement okay the next polish in the collection is a really exciting polish this is like a rainbow craziness on your nail and it's called A Battle of Wits. So if you remember in the film, after um, Wesley fights an ego, he goes and has a battle of wits with Vicini. And um, when I was conceiving this polish, I thought, I knew I wanted to have a polish called A Battle of Wits, but I also knew I wanted to play with combining these really, really shifty multi-chrome flakies and combining them all together and seeing what happens. And it happened exactly how I wanted it to happen. So basically, I took a 
um, holographic base. It's a linear holographic, but it's not too opaque because I wanted you to be able to see all these flakies. So keep that in mind when I apply this and the first coat looks really sheer, it needs to look that way so that it can build up the way it's supposed to. So I feel like this looks fine at two coats because all the colors kind of overlap enough that you really don't see much of your nail underneath, but you could definitely go for the third if you want to. So a battle of wits is described as a pewter linear holographic packed with a multi-chrome rainbow by pairing flakies that first shift from red to copper to gold to green, and then another shifting from green to cyan to sapphire. And um, yeah, basically it looks like a rainbow because I took two different multi-chrome flakies that have different, different shifting properties and together they cover the entire rainbow. So um, this polish is just so fun. I plan to play a lot more with this kind of thing in future polishes because I just had so much fun with it. I also did want to mention that if you take a very light hand, this could probably just be a top coat. It would give you a very flaky looking holographic, topper to your nail, so you could definitely play with that as well. Um, but if you build this up, it's going to give you this really cool pewter rainbow hollow look on your nail. So this polish is so fun, you guys. Again, a battle of wits. It's a really important part in the story, I feel like. It's right before Buttercup finds out Wesley's identity, and I just think it's so fun. So this is a battle of wits, and we just have one polish left. So last polish in the collection, um, last but not least, is just because it came after all of these polishes <laughs> inspiration were in the film. This is a polish inspired by the Fire Swamp. So I wanted to make an orangey red with lots of craziness going on. So I don't know if that shift is gonna, there you can see it right there. See that golden green in there? This is another jelly bomb, I guess I would say, but um, it has less variations of glitter, so it's gonna look a little bit less packed on the nail, I guess. You're mostly gonna be looking at this really fiery, juicy orange red with flashing things coming from within. So um, on the website, I have described this polish as red to gold to green multi-chrome shimmer running through the rusty fire orange jelly base with red to copper to gold to green multi-chrome flakies, gold hollow flakies, and red to gold to green shifting glitters. Opaque in two to three coats. I actually don't really need more than two coats on this. If you wanted to do the third coat, that would probably just be if you want to do thin coats and build up more of the glitters and flakies that are in this polish. So of course, wear top coat. So basically, um, I took, actually it's a different multi-chrome shimmer than the one that I used in Inconceivable, and I put it in the base of this red orange. So that shimmer shifts from a red to gold to green, so that's why you're seeing all that green um, as you turn your hand, but you're also seeing red. So depending on which way you hold your hand, the, sh the shimmer that's going through this polish is going to make the polish look red at times, or like a pinky red, and then sometimes it's going to look like a golden green, which is really, really fun. I love multi-chrome shimmer, you guys, as you know. Inside of here, I also have multi-chrome flakies that are going from red to copper to gold to green. So it's one of the flakies that I just showed you in a battle of wits and those are pretty prevalent on the nail and then the other thing that you're seeing in there is that larger um, iridescent shifty glitter that's going from red to gold to green so a lot of shiftiness in here basically it's how i felt about the fire swamp like they never know what's going to hit them they turn and see a different thing there's so much craziness going on in there and um wesley's really showing Buttercup how she can depend on him, but it's also, it's like a really intense part of the film, but it's kind of lighthearted because he's joking. It's just such a fun part of the film. So I hope you really, really like this. It's just a really warm, vibrant, like hot fire shade. So that's Fire Swamp. Okay, you guys, I know this was a really long video, but when I'm sitting here describing my polishes to you, I usually like to just like spill my guts out about how I made these polishes and how I conceived them because each one of them means so much to me and I put so much thought and love into each of them and it's Princess Bride. So I hope that I did the film justice for you. I know that I had to leave out a lot of parts like Miracle Max and um, <laughs> I just couldn't include it all or else it would have been like a 20 piece collection and yeah. We don't have time for that. So anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. So on the website, 
As you will notice um, when you go there, I've kind of changed things for 2018. All of the polishes, aside from anything that's just like a straight cream, like anybody want a peanut, all the polishes on my website are now listed for $11. And that was me just kind of equalizing things out. So I had polishes that were $10, $11, and $12. Anything that was a linear hollow or a multi-chrome was previously $12 and nothing's become less expensive for me to make, but I just figured for the ease of things, I wanted to just kind of give a nice medium, and so everything's at $11 now, and it just makes things easier, I feel like, and then, except for the creams, of course, like I said, the creams are still gonna be $8, everything else will be $11. This whole collection, if you buy it all together, you're getting a discount, um, all eight polishes for $80. Don't forget, you can always use my code free shipping. It's just the word free shipping in caps if you want to have me pay for your shipping. If you live in the US, if you're buying over $50 worth of product, then I will cover your shipping for you. When you go to my website, if you click on the shipping tab at the very top, it gives you a description of how to proceed with international orders. We do ship internationally. It's just that because of how the website is set up, it's making it so you're like way not paying a correct amount for your shipping and I want to just charge you what it costs to ship things to you actually not charge you any more kind of crazy things for shipping so that's how we made it work you just email me tell me the polishes that you want and then we go off of PayPal so I PayPal invoice you if you would like to order internationally I want to send my polishes to everyone <laughs> not just people that live here in the States so I think that's it you guys. I am just on a super high right now talking about these polishes. This movie, like I said, just makes me so happy. Polishes make me so happy. And so it just fills my heart so fully to make a collection inspired by this film. So um, I think that's gonna be it you guys. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for stopping by for this review. Don't forget these go on sale on Friday. Um, I think that's it you guys. Have a great rest of your day you guys and I just want you to know one really important thing that I never want you to forget, as you wish.